Sudha Tattva Sam Dhanadva Pashu Shakti. Very interesting. So, Lord Shiva says, or the Shiva Sutra says, as, uh, as uh, in this case translated by Lakshmanju, by having one pointed attention with the pure essence of Shiva, the yogi possesses unlimited energy. By one pointed attention at the essence of Shiva, the yogi possesses unlimited energy. Suddha Tattva, pure element, essence, pure consciousness. So, elsewhere in one of the tantras, it's stated the yogic powers which are attained with the perfection of an initiation from a great master when compared with the supreme universal consciousness are not equal even to its 16th part. These yogic powers are nothing in comparison. They are all to be discarded when there is universal energy flowing through you. You have only to own and maintain this universal Virya, strength, this universal identity. With one pointed attention, you must feel and perceive that this universe and your body are simultaneously one with divine consciousness. Then the rise of that supreme God consciousness takes place. For such a yogi who has this kind of perception, this world is a playground, always filled with joy, he's never sad. Doubtlessly, he is liberated while living. Jivan Mukti, Spanda Karika. There's a lot in that one sutra. But here's the basics. If you and the universe are one, then everything that is happening in your body is a movement, a whole movement of the universe. Your biological rhythms uh, the symphony of the cosmos, human body, but all biological organisms are the symphony of the cosmos. So you experience every day circadian rhythms, cycle of day and night, seasonal rhythms as the earth goes around the sun, gravitational rhythms as the sun and the earth exert their gravity, gravitational effects on our oceans and even lunar rhythms, you know, the rhythms of the sun and the moon in relationship to each other. Our biology, being a holo movement, dances to the symphony, even though we can't hear the tune. But let's say your biological rhythms were completely in harmony with universal rhythms, circadian, seasonal, all the rhythms, lunar, gravitational, then there would be almost zero entropy, zero aging, and almost unlimited strength and power. Joyful, energetic body on a scale of one to ten would be one to millions because you and the universe would be one, Atman, Brahman, identical. Of course, we don't do that because we resist existence. But if we were totally in the flow, totally in the flow, which means no regrets, no anticipation, no resistance, just allowing the universe to manifest through you, even discarding the idea of free will, understanding that your will and the will of the divine is one, that would result also in spontaneous right action, spontaneous knowing, insight, intuition, creativity, higher consciousness, transcendence, but your biological clocks would also be different, least entropy, and therefore maximum energy, unlimited energy. So what do you do to have maximum unlimited energy? 
surrender to the divine and more importantly pay attention to sleep wake cycles uh, cycles of uh, energy and rest cycles of um, uh, metabolism digestion etc i'm writing a book right now on quantum body and quantum metabolism which um, basically states that uh, at the quantum level which is the level of the electron, let's say, the electron, which is also the level of subtle awareness. Um, everything is happening um, with least effort, least effort. And that is how our life should be. Least effort. Going with the flow in the moment and realizing that the only point of arrival always is now unlimited energy.